Autodesk Simulation Mold Flow uses four different mesh types to provide the user with flexibility to utilize the appropriate mesh type to meet the specific application and geometry. The first element type we'll discuss is a beam element. Typical uses for beam elements are runners and gates, as well as cooling channels and part geometry. Beam elements are simple point-to-point -point elements that are easy to create and modify. Their shape and size are driven by user-selected properties. This allows for fast and easy changes without having to recreate or remesh geometry. The second mesh type used within Moldflow is midplane. A midplane mesh represents the mid surface of a solid part. Shown here is an example of a midplane mesh and how it relates to the solid geometry. The thickness of a midplane element is specified as an input, which allows the user to quickly explore multiple design scenarios without having to create 3D models for each iteration. The dual domain mesh type creates a surface mesh that fully represents CAD geometry. This mesh type is designed to be used with uniform thin wall geometry. Again, for the dual domain mesh, the thickness of the part can be calculated or driven by user inputs to explore design changes. The final mesh type used within Moldflow is 3D. This mesh type provides a complete representation of the geometry with the ability to control the elements through the thickness. Since results are calculated at each element, results can accurately be displayed throughout the entire part. 